Hey, this is James from Warrior Network. And in this video, we're gonna answer the question, James, is fat loss hard work? So the reason for this video is that you see so many people, and this is a big, massive misconception, you see so many people in the gym week after week, month after month, and even year after year, and they are sweating like disgusting pigs on doing cardiovascular exercise and trying to lose fat. So the fact of the matter is, and I've talked about this on previous videos, the fact of the matter is, is that it actually, you could literally, if you are following the Warrior Network regime of fasting, you could literally lie on your fat ass, literally doing nothing, until until you get to the point where your body has burnt off all of the excess body fat and you're lean, sexy, gorgeous and slender again and healthy as you are supposed to be. So you could, in theory, actually do that, but it would take a, a long time, a very, very long time. So that is why at Warrior Network, we recommend that you do daily exercise as well as the fasting regime. Now look, this does not need to be hard work. I've talked about this on another video about uh, jogging. Does jogging make you lean? Because you see so many people jogging, they are cycling, they are doing all this stuff, which is great. And yes, cardiovascular exercise is very, very important and will do you a lot of good. But if you are doing it for fat loss and then you are going and putting food back into your body, it, it should be logical that you are putting back in the energy that you've just used which means that you will get nowhere. Maybe you'll lose a few pounds here and there. Some of that will be water weight, and then hey presto, it all comes back again, okay? So, if you are new to the Warrior Network channel, and you don't know what the Warrior Network protocol is for fat hog beasts, and you want to make a change, like I talked about in the last video, there's type A hog beasts and type B. Type A is if you look in the mirror and you think, fuck it out, I'm a fat hog beast, just as James says, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, I don't need to change. Everyone else around me is a fat hog beast, so that's okay. And this is one of the problems, is that so many people these days are in absolutely terrible physical shape. Absolutely awful. And because there's so many people like that, it's just accepted. Yeah? It's just accepted to be, to be fat, to be unhealthy, to be sick, to die at an early age. To lit it's, it's accepted to literally eat yourself into an early grave. But if you want to be a lean warrior and you are a type B hog beast and you look in the mirror and you think, fuck, I really need to sort myself out. And thank goodness I found James's videos on the Warrior Network and I have found a way that I can become lean and slender again. OK, you are looking at a guy who used to be a fat fucking hog beast. OK, you look back on a couple of videos. I actually put some pictures of there of me sprawled out on my friend, friend's bed. When I was a fat fucking hog beast. Yeah, literally, I was like three, three, four stone heavier than what I am now. And it was all fat. Yeah, it wasn't muscle, it was all fat. So, the protocol is, is that the first thing that you need to do if you're a fat hog beast and you want to change, the first thing you need to do is to do a 72 hour fast, where you literally eat nothing. This will prove to you that you have a food addiction, number one, and it will also prove to you that you will not die because our bodies are designed for survival. And you can do the research into this. Do the research into prolonged fasting. Do the research into autophagy, stem cell reju rejuvenation, the cognitive benefits of fasting, and all of the other regenerative benefits of fasting. There is a lot of them. You can do your own research on that. So not only are you gonna lose body fat, and you can also look up ketosis. Your body will go into ketosis given enough time without any nutrients coming in, and that is where it is doing what it is supposed to do and that is to run off of its own energy restore reserves you're literally your body is like a self-powered battery yeah we can literally go for weeks if we need to some people even months depending on how much fat they've got on them yeah we are designed for survival all of this stuff i've not made up you can do the research on it so you fast for 72 hours and whilst you're doing this you drink the electrolyte solution there is a video on the blog and on the channel which tells you how to do that it is basically the purest form of water that you can find preferably distilled water so you can buy a, a, a distiller and distill it yourself and himalayan pink salt and potassium chloride mixed in yeah you don't need too much just to start with just maybe a teaspoonful of each or half a teaspoonful in two liters of water until you find out how you react to it should be fine Okay, I go with a teaspoonful of each in two liters of water and it is absolutely fine. During the time of fasting, then you can do muscle resistance exercise with bands or in a gym. Okay, we're not training, you don't need to train balls to the wall, but what you can do is just take it easy. Yeah, but at least you're doing something. And the most important thing is that you're actually walking every single day. If you're new to walking, start off with 20 minutes per day. 
and work up to at least an hour per day. And then what you do is you have a, if you feel good, you keep fasting. But if you really need to eat to shut the body up, because it's crying out for food that it doesn't actually need, and this is because of years worth of programming of it thinking that you, you know, you're feeding it so many times throughout each day and on such a consistent basis. And also you can do the research into what you're actually feeding. You're not actually feeding your body, you're feeding all of the bacteria and all of the stuff that is in your gut that should not be there. Okay, that's gonna be for a different topic. So, that is the protocol. There's plenty of videos on the blog which will tell you about that. And then what you do is you rinse and repeat. So the small refeed you can have is going to be something like organic fruits and vegetables. You can also take a multivitamin supplement. Bear in mind that most of them are synthetic bullshit. So make sure that you do your research into that as well, yeah? But the idea is, is that you will fast for 72 hours, only be taken in the electrolyte solution, and you keep rinsing and repeating that process until you have gone lean again. Okay, and you carry on with your daily life. You do not need to do hours and hours worth of cardio because that's just gonna fuck you up, okay? So, fat loss does not need to be hard work. Like I said, you could literally follow this protocol and sit on your ass all day and do fucking nothing and you would still end up with the same result, but it will take a heck of a long time and you would get fuck all done. So I suggest that you follow the Why Network protocol that we've just described in this video and you continue your daily life and you will see that you have a food addiction and that you do not need to be eating all of the food that you are eating, which has made you sick, yeah, on the outside and on the inside. Talk to you on the next video.